literal liquid gold. And then, okay guys, I've been wanting Jordans, and like so is everyone in the mother. speaking for the first time and it's like 11 p.m. but hey that's just how it be sometimes I was exhausted today but I figured some of you guys asked me about my skin my skincare routine and I have a little bit of makeup on today because I was filming I figured I'd show you all what I do to take it off okay so I use these little cotton rounds that are reusable you just throw them in the washing machine they're freaking great I wet one side and then I just go over my face. So once I've got most of that off, I flip it to the other side, take a bit of the Neutrogena eye makeup remover because honestly, I don't know what it is with my eyes. Like some people can use just water to get eye makeup off of these things, but I just hate having dark circles under my eyes because I feel like I have naturally dark circles anyways. So I need to use the makeup remover just to get it off. But at least I'm not using like those one-off towelettes. And voila. Okay, so that's it for removing the makeup. Then I go in with my Shelby's Naturals. Shelby is such a sweetheart. She's actually from the Toronto area. And her products smell amazing and work amazing. You just apply to dry skin and massage face. I just kind of use this as a cleanser. Anyways, all natural ingredients. This is step one in her little kit. It's a cleanser. Oh yeah, and if you buy her kit, you actually get one of those like cotton um, things that I was using, but like a bigger one, which is really nice. And luckily, you guys, my skin has been like decent lately. These products really definitely do help and keep my skin nice and like smooth and hydrated and like balanced I guess you could say but I really think it's my diet right now that has like prevented me from having really like cystic bad breakouts because usually that's what my history of skin has been like in the past unfortunately if I found pictures I'll pop them in here I love how I just use products and don't like read how you're supposed to use them this is step two this is the toner as you guys can see it's like pretty much donezo I just spray it on my face so that's what we're gonna do here sometimes I'll use it as like a final wipe and like wipe off the rest it smells amazing again love the packaging love the smell love everything about it yeah then I let that like dry for a couple seconds and then I go in with her oil I don't put it on every night because it's literal liquid gold and I don't want to run through it so fast. So this is going to be a special night, a little self-care indulgence for all skin types. And it smells like oranges, just smells so fresh and so clean. And I take a tiny bit of it, like the smallest bit, because I want to make sure that this lasts me a lifetime. And as I said, I don't use this every single night because Right now my skin is at a fairly good place. You don't even like tell your skin is kind of balanced. Luckily that's where I'm at. Okay, and then I know this isn't clean, this product, but I'm trying to use through all the products that I have, whether they're clean or not, and then hopefully get to a more like clean beauty routine eventually. But that's just a birthday lip balm by Glossier. All right, so that's my little nighttime skincare routine. Definitely don't do such a thorough <laughs> routine every single night. That's why this is the first time you guys are seeing it, but that's that. I'm gonna brush my teeth, go to bed, and then I've got a long day of editing, but it'll wrap up with a fun little outing, so. See y'all then. All right guys, welcome to, welcome to a new day. Is it the morning? No, it's 4.15, but it's not me taking off my makeup, so that is progress. So I'm actually headed out to this like vintage night market thing. It's called the hippie market in Toronto. I think it happens like every season or maybe just in the summer seasons, but I haven't been to one of them yet. And seems like their protocol is pretty good for COVID. We're gonna go early so that like, we're not touching stuff that people have touched like a million times. So that's what I'm about to do. Hence why I put in an outfit, but I want to give you guys a quick shoe haul that I picked up slash I ordered from this Toronto store. It's called Exclusivity, Exclusivity, Exclusivity. 
Why can I never say that store name? Anyways, sadly, I just read an article that they're closing their physical store down, and that makes me sad because it was like one of the first sneaker stores that I went into and found sneakers that I loved. But shout out to them. They gave me a free t-shirt. That was really, really nice. And I think everyone that orders gets a free t-shirt and a nice little note. They're also a black owned Toronto business. So I just thought if I was gonna order Nikes, might as well get them from here. Slash the selection was just really good. And I found shoes that I've been looking for for a really, really long time. First pair that I got are the Nike Blazers. And I'm gonna be doing a whole sneaker collection soon. So you guys will see these styles and everything. But I have been searching and like all over the internet for these and they were the only spot that had them. So definitely check them out if you are looking. I think this might be a half size too small and they didn't have the half size up, so. I'm a little worried. I really want to make these work. Hopefully, hopefully. I'm just gonna sleep on them though, probably wear them around my room for a couple days. And then, okay guys, I've been wanting Jordans and like so is everyone and their mother, but I cannot find the high tops anywhere for like under $200 and I just don't really want to spend that much money right now. So I picked up these ones, these low ones, and they're in a woman's eight. They fit perfectly and I think the pink is so fun. Personally, I'm not too worried about them being low because with pants and like fall coming up, we're gonna be wearing pants anyways and it'll still give the illusion of like a high top Jordan. So I'm very into like the baggy skater pant look with just some cool sneakers underneath. So I'm actually gonna wear these today. It's a big opportunity for you guys. I don't take many shoes out and when I do, they are the lucky ones. So I'm gonna lace those up properly and we're gonna head out. Corridor matching. That looks cute. Purple thing. Looks like the fabric I just got. Thank you. I love this. I'm very neat. Where will I wear it? I do not know. I needed a new summer dress. I had that. You had this? Yeah, I got it on buns. Or no, I thrifted it. Well, I just it was the cutest there. stuff. A Von Dutch moment. Wait. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. These are kind of cool too. They're cute though, they just went defoddering on us. I can feel sweat forming on my upper lip, it's not cute. turning on Love Island to give me some more light. Um, I want to quickly address the fact that half the time I look really exhausted because I've had 
the worst allergies of my life I think this summer every year I'm like wow how is this real like summer gets me so excited but then I can't do anything because I literally have the worst allergies so if you guys like hear me sounding nasally and stuff and my eyes I find like my eyes get so tired looking and I hate it there's nothing I can do like I take reactant every single day and it's just annoying that's the easiest way to explain it but yeah um gonna turn on love island we are on australia now and honestly it is so not as good as the british original one so i'm honestly not even really paying attention at this point they're all just kind of there messing around and it's like what is going on but i'm gonna put it on just as like noise in the background because i have to do work i have so much work to do work has been really busy lately it's holding me accountable to upload a lot for you guys because i don't want it to just be like sponsored content even though i'm so excited about all the sponsored videos that i'm doing i'm grateful but it's just like kind of a shock because i didn't really do a lot the beginning of quarantine you guys know i was not on my uploading game and so that wasn't good because i thrive when i'm busy and i'm like creating things and working and collaborating with other people so i'm very excited about it but i'm also trying to enjoy summer so sometimes i get in these moods but at the end of it all i just have to be grateful and i am very grateful so gotta get to work need to drink some water blow my freaking nose and finish the season of love island australia because i'm like so done with it i think i'm on episode 24 so that's my night all right, so I realized that this vlog was turning out to be really, really super long and I wanted to get it up today for you guys. So here we are doing the little haul from the vintage hippie market. I actually went thrifting on Saturday in a small town with my sister. We went on like a little family day road trip. So you guys will see that. I ended up getting way more footage than I thought. So here is what I picked up. I got four really cute pieces. The first one being this Hawaiian-esque dress that you guys saw. It is so summery. I was gonna wear it out the other night, but it's a little long. I don't know. I wanna either like hem it or just like kind of have it like that. I feel like it'd be really super cute. I feel like this used to be like a swim cover up or something cause it's got like that texture, but it's so cute and so summer and I was in need of just like an easy dress to throw over or just to put on I mean when I'm running outside and it's super hot outside so that's item number one item number two is this really cute pink vest sweater vest collared polo sweater vest it can have many names anyways I got this at the booth that you guys would have seen she had all the pink and black stuff it was so freaking cute um, just totally me so I really want to pick this up because I feel like it'll look really cute with like a white tennis skirt or something of the sort or just denim shorts I have this weird thing though where I don't really like shirts with collars on me and maybe it's where my hair is at right now because I don't really have any like layers to frame my face but I don't know people with round faces do you feel the same way or is it just me being weird well, just me being weird but I actually wore this yesterday so you guys will see that vlog I want to have it out on Tuesday for you but you'll see my little outfit that I put together on to the next one. So this piece you will also be seeing in the next vlog. I wore it out on Saturday night, hence why it's a little bit like stretched out right now, but it is this tie-dye Guess Vintage. Is it Guess? I just assumed it said Guess, but now I'm looking at it, I'm like, what does it say? It's got the like side ruching, which I think is really super cute and flattering, and just like a very easy go-to top for summer. I wore this with white pants. Again, you guys will see it in the next vlog. And everything I wanted to mention was around like $25. I find that's like the average price of items at these type of like vendor markets, which I personally think is very fair. Like they're paying to be there, they're paying to sell, and to buy the clothing takes a lot of time and then to mark it up. So I don't know. I just thought it was all pretty fair pricing. I think I got like, yeah, everything for 25 bucks individually. And lastly, this little top is actually from Guess. <laughs> Still trying to clarify the last one, but it's just ruched up the top. I feel like this is actually a newer Guess top because the tag just looks newer, but I really like the sheer detailing on the sleeves, like the little ruched cap sleeve moment and then the ruching going up the top very much on trend with things that are still happening this summer so I want to get this just to wear as like more of a night look maybe with black pants black leather pants in the fall could be good because it's got kind of like those warmer fallish tones as well but that is it so that is it for the little market haul I love supporting like vendors and stuff like that if you guys have a depop by the way leave it down below because I'm working on something exciting coming soon but don't forget to subscribe because part two of this vlog is going to be out Tuesday so subscribe give this one a thumbs up and I will see you guys all then Thanks for watching. Good night.